on today's FaceTime. Music is beyond borders. When a Chinese person works with a foreigner, they have these expectations that maybe you're going to bring something amazing to the table. My voice tends to be more accepted in Asia than Australia. Foreigner planning to come to Guangzhou. Just try. Be interested in local culture. The Chinese people, they're really open. You just to be natural, to be yourself, perform, keep learning, keep growing. Welcome to join us in FaceTime. I'm your host, Deng Lu. Music is beyond borders. With the booming market for the entertainment industry in China, foreigners find their very successful way into China, not just for the trade and business, but also for the showbiz industry in China. They have multiple choices, like being actors, singers, or even directors or producers in China. But I was wondering, how does the foreign face bring them the opportunity to place a new trail in China and to be welcomed successfully or even idolized by the locals? Today, we have two experienced artists and musicians from Guangzhou to join us in FaceTime. First of all, this is our colleague, the TV presenter, Harry Hardy, and yep. also Haza. Haza, yep. welcome to Good join to us. Good to see you again. Yeah, me too. Harry Hardy, or Haza. Covered Chinese pop songs and make music videos at first, now comes to Guangzhou as an entertainer. Work as GDTV World FaceTime host, pop singer, commercial actor, and director. We're honored to have Ron Kingston. Welcome to join us. Thank you. International recording artist Ron Kingston, enjoying an international musical career spanning 10 years and over 15 countries with three launched albums featuring his soft, clean voice in soul music and R&B style. Since coming to Guangzhou, obviously you gentlemen are bringing something new and unique to the local people, like to the audience. What's the most you want to impress to the audience? It's just about feelings and connecting with people through the music, yeah. vibrations through music. Mm -hmm. um, if I feel the music, then hopefully you will feel it as well. It's about energy and, uh, and synergy. So it's just about um, getting you to feel the emotion of the song, mm -hmm. just like when you watch a movie you feel the emotion of that scene each song has a different scene so to speak besides being a tv presenter in mm. facetime mm. obviously you're part of facetime yeah. but uh, what else did you promote yourself to do oh well i do a bit of everything really. <laughs> too much to mention um, mm -hmm. i do i'm a singer mm -hmm. a director mm -hmm. producer and uh, i also do some judging as well for singing competitions. Judging what? The whole competition? Singing competitions, yeah. Oh, so, so among these and labels. And I also write some articles for a magazine oh. as well here in Guangzhou. But which label do you prefer the most? Well, it's hard to say because um, like I would just classify myself as an entertainer. So mm -hmm. everything that comes along with it, like I'm happy to do that. Initially when I was um, doing, you know, hosting, singing, I was really worried that I couldn't be myself mm -hmm. because maybe Chinese people expected me to be a certain way. But now I've just realized oh, I'll just be myself and just mm. enjoy myself and have fun. And I think that's important. I and think you have guys have the common grounds, right? Too. Yeah, I yeah. think it's true. Mm -hmm. it, just to be natural, to be yourself, perform, keep learning, keep growing uh, as an mm. artist and, and with experience of travel and life itself. Mm. You are my 
Impress the people when you first come to uh, Guangzhou. Well, I have really okay. I believe that the world is changing really fast, and we're all mm. becoming one mm -hmm. world. Like we're all becoming one Earth. Mm -hmm. And what I really want to do is just to just show people that we're all the same, pretty much. Yeah. I mean, you know, when I was young, um, and I would see people from different countries, like mm -hmm. you know, maybe somebody from Africa or from Asia, I would feel a little bit scared because it was different. You know, when you're mm -hmm. young, you don't really know too much. I mean, it's not racism, but it's just fear of the unknown. Mm -hmm. So, I reckon through music and through entertainment, you can really touch people and you can show people. You know, we're not too much. We're not it's too like different. It's like a big no. magnet. Yeah. To connecting the people. Yeah. Around you. Yeah. And if I can sing Chinese songs and mm -hmm. show people that I can use Chinese to express my emotions, then hopefully they'll realise that we're all the same. You know, <laughs> we've all. I reckon it's cool if you know an Australian guy can use a Chinese song to express mm. his mm. feelings. I think yeah. it's amazing what he does because um, oh. I, I no, I mean <laughs> I envy anyone who can speak more than one language. I think it's awesome, mm. and to be able to sing in another language is another um, talent in itself. And um, and I find that very um, inspiring, actually, because I really want to start. Mm -hmm. Finding ways to connect with local audiences and uh, being able—that you are requested many occasions. Yeah, I have. <laughs> to the Chinese I, yeah, and prior to being in China, I've spent a lot of time in countries like Indonesia, mm -hmm. where I wrote and, and sang in Indonesian language as well. And I've been in Japan and Korea, as well. But this is really my first time to China, mm -hmm. coming here for the past uh, several months. But. Um, and I'm, I find the language quite challenging, but a good challenge in a way. And I hope that I can be able to <laughs> sing some songs <laughs> as well. Learn something from you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. So, well, so I mean, far to speak, uh, what's your favorite one? Favorite Chinese song? Yes. Well, you can um, pick it up. It's, it's, the, it's the one that, the famous one. Uh, Which oh. one? <laughs> when I need your shen, I need your that's the yeah. one. Ooh, you should be what? standing in a couple. Yeah. <laughs> you mean us two? Nah. Yeah. <laughs> you guys can take it away. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, obviously, you guys have to yeah. collaborate with a lot of um, you know people here. Local They're doing people, the yeah. musicians here. Yeah. What about the the working conditions in Guangzhou? Um, Any different from Australia? I think, too? I think working conditions. Well, uh, yeah fine but the hardest thing is just being away from your family so when you're working and you're stressed and if you've had a bad day and you go home and there's no one to talk to then that's when it gets tough you know what I mean 
And what about you? You live here just for two months. I've done uh, a lot of shows, events. I was in Shanghai, did a, the opening for Wang Feng's. Uh, Wang Feng, Wang yeah. Feng's concert. It's a celebrity. It was fantastic. It was great. It was a great opening for me to sort of uh, um, test myself with Chinese audiences. What was the atmosphere like? It was great. I was actually asked to sing. Um, Hey Jude by the oh, Beatles. Okay. Hey Jude. Yeah, yeah. the organizers Classic. wanted me to do that because they felt that um, uh, Chinese audiences knew that song. Mm -hmm. So um, I got the band to, to learn the song and um, everyone was singing along to Hey Jude, which was fantastic. <laughs> and um, yeah, it was good. Talking about the collaborations and experience in China, do you find any intentions for the Chinese people? They uh, have this regular choice yes. for different music. Styles. Um, well, I think when a Chinese person works with a foreigner, they have these ex expectations that mm -hmm. maybe you're going to bring something amazing to the table mm -hmm. that they've never heard of or never experienced. But Chinese people is that they're really open mm -hmm. to new ideas, oh. and that's to different awesome. forms of the music. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's yeah, and it's really great because um, you can sort of try out new things and experiment a little bit, and they're open to these new mm -hmm. ideas, and I reckon that's really great. Do you find any trends for the Chinese younger generations to pick up the musics? Are there any conflicts with your music? No, I think um, a lot of the young kids are into uh, things like uh, Adele and Bruno Mars. Yeah, and, of and, you course. Know, uh, yeah, often, the most in one. Yeah, I get, I get requested uh, someone like you by Adele every night. And I, uh, <laughs> so do you sing it I every sing. night? Uh, look, I, I do. I've got my own version of someone yeah. like you. Oh, okay. Okay. Adele. Vice I've created my own sort of style to, to make it uniquely um, distinct from the original. But um, yeah, I, I pretty much know. It's interesting to see the young kids. I mean, when I, young, as in like 17, 18, they come to a show and they'll go, uh, "Can can you sing Fly Me to the Moon or My Way by Frank Sinatra?" I'm thinking, God, my grandmother didn't even know that song. <laughs> Or, or knew that song, but it's interesting yeah. to see that they know these um, really classic um, the big names. songs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, and sometimes they know songs that we've never heard of. Yeah. Have you ever like what? Oh, I can't even think of it. Take now, me but to your I mean, heart people, by Michael yeah. Yeah. Rock. Or if you go to yeah. karaoke and they'll, oh. you know, order some From songs the and, and they're like, "Can you sing this song?" And I'm like. I've never heard this song, yeah, and then they yeah. look at me like, "How you could you never that? have heard this song?" <laughs> yeah. I'm like, You're from West. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, "Whoa." Yeah, yeah. The other, the other thing is like, I mean, sometimes I'll hear Chinese songs that I like that my friends have never, like my Chinese friends have never heard of. So mm. when I mm. play them the songs to them, and and then I can be like, I "Can't believe you've never heard of this song." Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. There you go. So, it's yeah, competition. Yeah. Because I'm really into like grassroots okay. musicians. Like on the, in I like mm. listening to songs on the internet that are just like Wang Luo Go Shou, like Wang just Wang Luo, yes. songs that are not really popular. Yeah. Because mm. once something gets really trendy and popular, mm -hmm. I sort of like mm. don't have much. Yeah. I feel like I don't have much connection to you it anymore. You have to discover it by yourself. Yeah, you have to mm. discover it and then you feel like it's special. And mm. So, yeah. Let's say if right now yep. someone asks you to go back to Australia for a further mm. and better development, mm. what do you think about it? That would be a really tough decision because mm. I've dedicated like the last few years of my life to learning about Chinese culture, learning Chinese. Um, so if somebody called me from Australia and was like, oh, we've got this great job, do you want to come back? It would have to have something to do with China for me to really be interested. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, the last few years of my life would have been wasted pretty much, you know. Mm. I love performing everywhere. Mm. I, I'm, I have no uh, reservation about performing anywhere, anytime. I think the trends in Australia tend to be a bit more um, on the sort of uh, rock side of things. For me, musically, I, I tend to be more on the... Um, uh, sort of gentle, melodic, uh, sort of soul music. I think music in Australia, a lot of it has become a bit more on the aggressive side, whether it be aggressive dance or aggressive Brit pop music. Um, but I think what's happened is that I've tended to um, blend more with uh, Asian sensibilities mm -hmm. because I've spent a lot of time in Asia. And, um, like Indonesia, Indonesia, all South over Korea. Asia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think uh, I think my voice tends to be more accepted in Asia than Australia because maybe because of the timbre or the tone of my voice. By default, I don't know why, but it just happens that way. Yeah. So.
used to say that Asian people are very sensitive, more sensitive to the soft music. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I would soul agree. music, yeah. right? And more about it's more feelings. touching. Yeah. More touching, yeah. Yeah. So suppose if a foreigner, one of your friends, yeah. are planning to come to Guangzhou to develop his career in oh. music, what will you do to help him? Just try. I mean. Mm -hmm. um, you have to have the heart for yeah, it. Yeah, you have to have the heart. You have to have passion. And mm -hmm. be interested in culture, be interested in local culture, whether it, be, Guangzhou. whether it be Guangzhou or, uh, or Iceland. <laughs> you know, I mean, I'm just extremes. You have to be interested mm. in the culture. When I first came here, I think I was a bit naive. Like, I thought it would be much easier than mm -hmm. what it was. Mm -hmm. But I think you just have to never give up. I mean, yeah, because yeah, there were a few times when I thought, oh, I better, you know, maybe I should just go home and... Mm -hmm. Maybe it's not for me, but from time to some, time, from time to time. But mm -hmm. like, you have to have a fire in your belly. Like, you have to really want something, and you just have to keep going. I think you guys are have a very great shape. Maybe mm. part of the reason because you're not really settled down here. Yeah, not like seeing someone special here. No. Uh, seeing someone special. <laughs> yeah, just single and available. So single that and available. Your, that's right. Pursue the uh, spirit of the music more freely. Yeah, well I think um, you can be in relationships, write great songs, be heartbroken. I think um, to sing, uh, to sing, to write, it, it, it's um, just about your feeling, whether you're single or taken. Mm. It doesn't matter. It doesn't <laughs> well, even matter. if you're even if you're taken, you can still um, look back on times when you weren't or when you went through a rough patch with someone. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. It's all but about the heart. Talking about single or available. You're not. Any, anyone want to? <laughs> One eight hundred has a. <laughs> definitely, I'm always definitely. Open. No. <laughs> but right now, let's focus here because okay. we are dying to see your collaborations okay. in the very end. Right. Cool. What's your suggestion? Well, uh, we suggested to do an Australian song, a very famous one that that mm -hmm. yeah. called Down Under. Down Under. Down Under is a slang word for mm -hmm. Australia. Yeah. So, okay. What's that mean? Down under just means Australia, it's just a slang word. Australia. Down, deep down under, because <laughs> Australia is so <laughs> far down from the rest of the world. Yeah. So. That is cute. Let's yeah. perform. Okay. Let's try hear it. it. Okay? Right. Yeah. Australian song. Australia. <laughs> That's Australia. So you don't have the accent. Australia. Now it's you have. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Can you sing it? <laughs> no, I can't sing it in an Australian accent. <laughs> On a hippie trailer full of zombies I met a strange lady She made me nervous She took me in, she gave me breakfast She said, do you come from a land down under? Women go and men thunder Can't you hear, can't you hear that thunder? You better run, you better take cover Lying in a den in Bombay With a slack jaw and not much to say 